guys, this is Laura Craigie here today for another Seeing Double video. Um, today I thought I'd focus on using some dyes. I've started amassing a little collection of them and I really just love them. I have a silhouette machine, I have punches, but for some reason I just, I'm just having a big love affair right now with dyes. So I thought I'd use a bunch of those on my project today. Um, projects, sorry, because we're seeing double. So, um, normally I have a whole like slew of products picked out in front of me today. I'm really just kind of starting bare bones. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this page at all, but um, I thought I'd just kind of keep it real. So I do know I'm going to use some dyes here. I have a couple of, these are all from Lawn Fawn. Um, there's a couple more companies that do those in the 2B store and I will link those up, but for now I think I'm going to use these ones. I'm going to use some papers today from this Pink Lemonade collection and I'll show you the picture that I'm working with today. It's just a single one and it's of my husband and our little youngest guy and I kind of wouldn't necessarily think it's going to go with these but I'm actually going to pull out the greens. He's got a green stripe on his shirt here and that's where I'm going to kind of pull the green colors from here. So I'm going to pick some pieces that I think are going to work well with this photo and use those. Sorry, I, I lie a little bit. I did pre-plan one thing, and that is that I decided I wanted to do an 8.5x11 page, and I decided to use a base of this corrugated paper. You can see there, it's a really pretty gray, and I just thought it would be just a fun, different thing to do. So from here, the one thing I thought, again, that I have sitting on my desk, just kind of staring at me right now, are these grid cards from Project Life. And I thought maybe I'd see if I could incorporate a couple of those on the page. These are definitely a staple for me. I have both the 4x6 size and the 3x4, and I use these a lot, not for Project Life at all, because I'm still kind of on a, a little breakup from Project Life. We'll, we'll probably get back together one of these days, but uh, for now we're broken up. Anyhow, so I have these cards, and they're just really fun, simple things that you can use on cards themselves, or on layouts if you're not into Project Life. So definitely don't look past the 4x6 and 3x4 cards in the store. There's a lot you can do with them. So I thought maybe I'd play around with some of them. And I'm probably going to print my journaling on one. And because they're the same, they're obviously the 3x4 size, it's the same size as a width of my photo. So, you know, maybe playing around and adding some a little like that. Um, Maybe I'll grab one more. Let's see if I can't fit it in that spot there. So something a little like that is actually kind of cool. Um, I like the little sections there that it's created. The big long one versus the two small. Um, so yeah, I may do something like that. I'm going to go through the papers and try and find... Um, a nice green and I'm gonna probably cut that out and so you can just see a tiny bit of the corrugated around the edges. I want a nice pop of color for the background because the gray kind of washes out the photograph right now. So I'm gonna go to that and I'll come right back. Alright so I cut out the green paper for here and um, just kind of laid the, the cards back down. This is the back side of the paper there you can see. Um, that's the A side and I'm choosing to use the B side, but this is actually really cute and maybe I'll use that on the card or something. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm just going to put that to the side. I actually really like this so far. Um, to get another pop of color in here, I thought what I'd do is pull out one of the dies. And these are the, um, Puffy Stars stackables here. And I'm just going to pull that out. And I think if I go for this one that's kind of the third, sorry, the middle size, I guess, because there's five of them. Um, maybe put that right there. If I cut that out, I thought I could then put a different color pattern paper where that star was. So I thought that'd be kind of fun for the page. And then I think I'll have my journaling here. Sorry, I may do the star up there and have my journaling. Whichever one I don't do the star on is probably where my journaling will go. Or my title, actually. Maybe I'll... Anyhow, I don't know. But I'm for sure going to cut a one star out of that. And I thought maybe the little star here, I'm going to peel that off. There's a strip of adhesive down the middle that holds them on here if you want to keep them on, which is kind of handy. I thought maybe I could use this little star and do a repetition here. And I'll start by doing one in the middle so I can get it squared. And then I'll do kind of 
three of them along the bottom there maybe put like a button or brad or something in the center of them and again also I'll put the color so you're not seeing this background poke through but you're seeing a different color pattern paper from the same line so I'm gonna go ahead and die cut those and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second okay so I finished doing that and you can see I got the little um, cuts here which is kind of fun I can save those for another project and it worked really well exactly as I was hoping it would. So for a secondary piece of paper to go underneath, right, so moving my machine here, I thought I'd pick this kind of green zigzag paper on the back is these cute little um, like citrus slices. And I thought it's a slightly um, lighter green there you can see, might make a little nice pop of color. So for that, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm gonna put that on here what I cut out you can see there and then cut around that and that'll make sure I have basically the right size going on like that and then just cut a little strip for the those stars at the bottom and hopefully I've cut those pieces to good sizes and I should just be able to, again, I haven't adhered anything, but slide that right under there. And I think that looks really nice, um, being the lighter green there. And I'm actually just going to go right ahead and adhere this guy right on here. A little like that. So I'm definitely happy with the way those look. Um, it's pretty fun and cute. And I thought, as I said earlier, I thought I might fill these little stars with brads or maybe some buttons or something like that. So I'm going to go dig through my stash and see what kind of um, brads and buttons I have that might be good colors. And I was thinking of pulling out the blue in the shirt. I don't want to keep it all green, so I thought I'd pull out the blue from my husband's shirt and maybe get some blue buttons or something going on here just for again a little bit of contrast. Alright so I went and picked out from the Travel Girl collection from October afternoon. I got the brads and buttons here and there's three little blue buttons sorry brads that I thought I'd put in there. They're all different shades of blue which was kind of perfect because as I said before so is his shirt. Um, yeah so the three colors are going to work nicely because they'll pull out the different colors from the photograph. And I'm just going to pop these right out. I may even use this larger striped blue one um, in that center star and see if I like that. Again, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think on the buttons. They may, may or may not um, appear back on there. But for now, I'm just going to set those off to the side and think on the rest of the page. So as I said, this is probably going to be a journaling card, this secondary big one. Um, I thought I should probably start paying attention to where these are going to be on here um, size wise and I want to keep that one there so I'm going to, this one, this, the bottom here is more important than the top right now so I want to see just to this one line above the stars here so I'm going to add adhesive and then I'll lay the photo down on there So a little like that, and that way it'll help me get a better idea of where I need to have this top one. And it looks like it's going to fit there with one, two, three, four. At this point, I think before I even move to the title, I'm going to go ahead and sew a couple things down, like this green paper to the corrugated paper, and maybe add some machine stitching around some of these journaling cards here. And I think that'll help me get a better just general feel for the page and I can go on from there. After sewing the stuff down, I still haven't adhered it yet, but I did decide that I wanted to add those little buttons there and I just threaded them with a little bit of hemp cord and adhered them with a glue dot. Just kind of made life easy. So I'm, I, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the rest of the pieces. Okay, so I'm not going to adhere this last one because, as I said, that'll be my journaling card. 
and it's going to fit perfectly right there. And I will be doing that on the computer, so I'm not going to add that right now. I am going to go ahead and pick out the title, and I thought I'd go with something kind of neutral. Um, and I have these stickers. These are in the Kenzie font, and they came out with the Pebbles Love You More line. And they came in a bunch of beautiful colors, and I just thought it might be really nice neutral to spell out the title along the top. And I thought I'd have it, the title's going to be Never in a Million, because the truth is never in a million did my husband and I think that we would make a little blonde baby, because I have kind of dark auburn hair, and um, he obviously has the dark brown hair. So the blonde completely threw us for our last little guy. Um, and I love it, but I'm pretty sure it won't stay. So. Anyhow, I just kind of wanted to document um, that never in a million do we think we'd get a little blondie. So, I'm going to lightly put these down. I'm not going to press because I'm not sure if that title is going to fit here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and lay those down. And then if it does fit, then I'll probably sew through them or press down a lot harder to get them to stick. As you can see, the title fit perfectly on there. I'm really happy with that. And that pretty well just leaves the big journaling card, which I'm going to do a bit of computer journaling on and then maybe add a couple embellishments too. I'm not entirely sure. I'll save that till the very end. Although I am for sure left with this blank space up here. And I thought maybe I'd use that as a spot to put my son's name. And there are stickers. These are also by Lawn Fawn. I believe these are from the Daphne collection, which um, the papers are from Pink Lemonade but these are from the Daphne's, Daphne's Closet, I believe that's how. Anyhow, I thought the blue was a nice match to the stripes in this brad as well as the shirt. So I'm going to spell that out and just see if I like that on here. Just as something to kind of fill up that space and at this point I'm really not sure what to put in there otherwise. So I'm kind of hoping that I like this. Okay, so I do like that on there. It basically just has his name as like a subtitle. Um, and I like that. I have a couple little arrow clips here from Two Peas in a Bucket. These are the exclusive arrow clips, and I thought maybe I'd see if I can get one on there. I've. Sorry, I got sticker bit stuck to me. Um, I've adhered this, but I think I can still poke one underneath here if I really try. So, let's really try. Okay, so I have that on there. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, if I like it there. Um, we'll see. For the moment, I'm going to leave it there. Actually, no, I'm going to take it off. I don't like it. <laughs> maybe if I'd done the little arrow, or maybe just... adding it on there and maybe stapling it down so it's just entirely on top of the page. I think I might do that instead. So hopefully I really like it there because now I'm committing to it. Perfect. So I like that a lot better. <laughs> and for the moment, I'm going to call it done on my page, and I'm going to move on to my card, and then I will print off the journaling and come back and finish the page after I'm done the card. So that's it for the moment. All right, so I'm ready to move on to the card now, and I have a couple pieces all ready to go here. And basically, I have a standard size card base, another one of these journaling cards, and then I Coda went ahead and cut out this piece of pattern paper. This is from the Grapefruit Frizz Fizz paper and it stripes on the back and this adorable little um, kind of grapefruit slices on the front. And this is from the same line as the papers that I used for the layout. So I'm just going to quickly adhere this to the front of the card. Um, I'm not going to use adhesive in the middle because I'm going to hopefully die cut through that in a moment. And I just cut this a little tiny bit smaller than the card front. I like to see a little bit of the white border along there. And I thought I'd do something similar that I did on the layout when I had the three stars at the bottom. I'm going to do three things at the bottom here. I'm actually going to, I think, on this card, use these dies from Lanfon. And I have to say, I really love these. I know I said before, and the things that I'm going to be doing this card, you could probably do with punches. 
but you're getting a way better bang for your buck with dies, and I just find they're so much more versatile um, to use, and also easier than pulling out your die cut, like your die cut machine all the time. Like I love my silhouette, but honestly, sometimes it's just a pain in the butt to pull out. So if I can use little dies and just quickly run them through my machine like this, it's just so much easier. And I like to use a little bit of washi tape if I'm really particular about where it's going to be. So I just push it down with a bit of washi tape, and that way I know it's not going to shift when I run it through my cuddle bug. Which I'm going to go and do, and I'm going to do like I did with the stars. I'm going to do three of these in a row, and then I'll pop a different, um, less busy pattern paper underneath there. So I'll go ahead and do that and come back and show you the results. Okay, so I finished cutting that out, and you can see it's got the three little um, kind of scallop circles there, which I thought was really cute. And... I'm going to pick a pattern paper. I thought I'd at first try the one, the background paper there. And I don't mind that, so I might stick with that. Although I'm going to go look through and see if there's one that's just a little less busy, maybe one that's a little more um, kind of solid pink. Okay, and from the same collection pack here, I have this beautiful yellow kind of soft grid paper. This is called Fruit Punch, and I just thought it was perfect because it's a nice kind of neutral paper. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of adhesive to the back of this so it sticks. And then um, I'm going to do another die cut above this. You'll see in a moment here. But I just really want to get this down for now. Okay, so there you can see it just covered or filled in the holes there. And then I'm going to quickly cut just from the back because I don't want it to be too thick. Cut it out. So there, I really like the way that looks. And what I'm planning on doing for this card is I thought I would make it a window card straight through to the inside. And basically that means I'm hoping the die is going to cut through three layers, which is this, the card base, and the pattern paper. I've never tried to do that before, so I'm really not sure if it's going to work but I thought it's worth a try. Um, and having that lined up a little, a little like that. So basically I'm going to adhere this to the card base now. Because I want all the layers, whoops, I didn't mean to add adhesive in the middle there. I'll just roll that off because that's where the die is going to cut through. And I'm sure it would cut through the adhesive, I just don't want to. I'm already pressing it, having it going through the three layers, I think, so... I'm trying to find a spot in here that's pleasing to the eye. I think a little like that is nice. Um, and one thing I didn't say about these is when I lay it down, I like to use... I think I'm actually going to try the bigger circle here. Um, a little strip of washi tape to hold it in place. Yes, I like the bigger one better. Um, it just fills up that space a lot better. And then I just take a little strip of washi tape. This time I'm going to put it down twice. Go like that and run it through. Alright, so I have all the layers cut out. I've placed it back in there temporarily for a moment because what I think I'm going to use is these stickers here. There's this little kind of banner one that says, You are my sunshine. And I thought I'd have that laying across the circle there. A little, a little maybe like that. And I don't want the stickiness of the sticker to connect through. So by quickly doing that, I can just cut around this sticker. And that way the back of the sticker will be covered and won't stick to the inside of the card. Okay, so I finished that. And I'm just going to get it in the spot I want and press down hard on those little tails there, but there you can see it opens and closes without adhering. And I thought I'd fill the inside of the card with the same yellow that I have here. Sorry, you can hear my kids in the background maybe. They're um, playing with their dad in the family room next door. So I'll add adhesive to the middle of the card. I don't usually add pattern papers on the inside of my card, but in this case with the peek through window I wanted to do that. And I thought it would be just kind of a cute different thing than I normally do. So, like that, and then I'll just trim it out. 
So I added the pattern paper on the inside of the card there, and I really like the way that looks. And I thought I'd just add some little enamel dots to the center of those uh, scallop circles. Originally I thought I would do brads, but I think I'm just going to go with some cute little enamel dots here instead. And just for a little bit of... Okay. So just like that, just a little cute addition to the card. Um, and I thought I'd look through my stamps and see if I have something that I can stamp in the center there. Just um, like a secondary sentiment here. Maybe a little hello stamp. I kind of like that. And I might just do it off on it to the side there. A little like that. I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm going to try that stamp and I'm going to use this... Pale Tomato um, from Hero Arts. It's kind of a, you can see it almost matches that perfectly, those two colors there, so I thought that would be good. And I'm even going to try and stamp it with the other stuff here that might be a, a big mistake, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to try that. And I'm going to stamp this off on some scratch paper because I haven't used this particular stamp yet. And that's just the perfect color, so I'm very happy with that. And that is a little bit thick, but I think I'm still going to be able to stamp this really well. So perfect, I like that there. And it's stamped great, which doesn't usually happen on my first go, so I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I have my layout back here, and as you can see, I finished off the journaling and added some stitching, so it kind of incorporates itself with the page really well. And I thought I'd do some more stamping on this page. So I have the Hero Arts Shadow Ink. This is the Green Hills Midtone. And I thought the green would be a nice um, addition, that shade. And then again from Lawn Fun, I have this stamp called Lucky Stars. And I thought the Yura Star right there would just be the perfect fit. And just, I always like to add, if I can, a tiny bit of stamping. Um, it's just fun. Really fun. So. <laughs> Get back that paper and see how that looks. That's perfect. So, Okay, so I'm going to ink this up really well and then I'm going to try and put it right here beneath this star. And there we go. I really like the addition of that. Okay guys, so I'm calling it done on my projects today. I had a lot of fun doing them and I loved using that pink lemonade line because I was able to turn it in two completely different directions using kind of the pinks and yellows for something more feminine and then using a lot of the greens for obviously a little bit more masculine of a page. I had a lot of fun too with the die cuts. Um, I just think they're really genius and it's such a better bang for your buck if you're comparing that to punches and so much more versatile of that I can go exactly in the middle of the card which I couldn't have that same reach with a punch and it's just so much fun. I'm a big huge fan of them and while I didn't use ones that coordinate with stamp sets like I thought I might like the Quinn's ABCs but they're such a good investment especially if you already have the stamps like for these if you're stamping it um, cutting out the center part is such a pain and so this has it already done for you which just saves you so much time and you get clean beautiful cuts and they're really, really just fun product. So thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like this was maybe a little bit different than I normally do, maybe a little more simpler. I'm not sure, but either way, I love it, the outcome, and I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time on Seeing Double, and have a great weekend.